Friendly greetings. <laughs> what, were you expecting me to say, how the heck are ya? <laughs> well, in any case, I am Torley Linden, and we're on Second Life Tip of the Week number 7, Discovering the Pie Menu. Like it says right here, I'm at Larry Pixel's New Media Consortium Conference Center, where Stella Costello and my wife, Ravenel Zugzwang, have set up this really informative, really cute, as you can see, it's a wordplay, and it's about the pie menu. I'm going to show you today some of these more advanced tips, both how to use it and digging into the deeper crust of the pie, or the filling, <laughs> as it were. Join me. Oh yeah, so I'm under the dock here. This is going to be fun. And the first tip I'm going to show you is how to invite someone to a group from the pie menu. Did you know you could do that? Well, it's quite a new feature. It was added thanks to Matthew Doid, an open source contributor resident, and Soft Linden. So say thank you to them if you find this is handier. Okay, normally you go into the communicate window, of course, and you would normally go to the groups and then go into a group, or you could, you know, edit menu in groups. There's several ways, but the basic thing is you would go and invite them this sort of long way, right? And that's not the fastest you'll probably want to take advantage of this. So I'm going to cam scan upwards. I'm holding Alt and Control to move up from the dock. And oh, hey, there's Stella Costello. Who better to add? Okay. <laughs> so what I can do, I think she's noticed me. Quick, I'm going to right click on her, click on more, and see, group invite is what you want to click. And you can select any group from here that you have the power to invite to a group. So that's just how it's done. It's just a lot simpler. Remember that, right click on another avatar, more, and group invite. And remember what I said in a previous tip of the week, you can use mouse gestures. You can just hold it down, hold down the right button, slide and release, and then you can click. That will save you a click and some time. There you have it. Hello, Corwin. <laughs> I'm just going from place to place here. It's really nice at NMC. Okay, next, I would like to show you the inspect feature. Some of you asked me about this last week during the last tip of the week, and I'm going to show you more about how that works. And it's also accessed from the pie menu. So what you want to do is any object in world, even if it's not owned by you, especially link sets, this is particularly applicable. You want to right click it, you want to select more, more, and see where it says inspect. Now this will show you the creator of the, not just the, the root prim of the link set, but all the details inside, all the specific prims. So you can see what they're named and see who created them and you can check their profile. This was added by Cube Linden some time back. And it's pretty useful. You can use it on your own objects too. For example, uh, let's see. Ooh, nice new shoes from Tesla Miles. Chocolate shoes. Okay, let me res this. Ah, uh, nice sculpty shoe. So I can again do this. Right click, more, more, right? Twice. And then inspect. And then see it shows that it's made out of this many prims. Sculpted prims have that advantage. You can do more detail with less prims. And you can see it's all by Tesla Miles. Because sometimes they will have different creators that are joined if they have like modified permissions and that sort of thing. And it shows you the creation date. So it's also very fun for finding the oldest objects in world, for example. <laughs> Hope you find that useful as well. Take now, I walk along the street. <laughs> I've got a couple of handy debug settings for you. Do you remember that from an earlier tip of the week? If you don't recall, here's a refresher. Now I'm gonna hold Alt and Control key on my PC, and then I'm gonna push D and call this up here, the client menu, right? And then I'm gonna put client menu and the debug settings brings up this box. And if you click this, there's so many, but don't worry, I'll show you the right ones you need to get to. First will be pie menu, whoop, line, almost there, width. And press enter, and you see normally it's 2.5. That's the width of, whoop, yeah, that's the width of uh, these lines as you see them. Now, if you want to make them thicker, if you uh, need to, to make them bold, you can set it to 10, for example, enter again, and watch how it's changed. Ooh, thicker already. It's kind of like a, the front of a TIE fighter from Star Wars. Dun, 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 dun. Even thicker. Or, hmm, let's see. I think they only go up to a certain width. Yeah, but anyway, that will give you... Uh, you can always reset back to default if you don't like that, but that may help you see clearer. And there's also another one. This may or may not be useful to you. Left-click, show menu. So that means if you do a normal left-click, like not a right-click, that it will grab the object. Okay, it'll open the pie menu here. See, true, I set that to true. And then right now when I click on anything with my left, I'm using the left mouse button. You can't see me, but trust me here. <laughs> and it's opening the pie menu. 
this can be useful or annoying because it will also kind of autopilot you sometimes. But the option is there should you choose to use it. And now you know. So now that you're feeling a touch more illuminated like I am at the top of this lovely lighthouse here, I can go and inspect that. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, it's all by Stella Costello. <laughs> Just confirming. Just checking. I hope you have a lovely week and put these tips to use for you and got tip of the week number eight coming up next week. So once again, this is Torley Linden. Thank you graciously for joining me and goodbye for now.